so good afternoon. Um, Monday afternoon and uh, the back end of autumn now so I need to be getting on if I'm going to be capturing more of this autumn goodness. Uh, it's a bit of a damp drizzly day, um, pretty foggy early on but I never managed to catch any of that. Um, so I'm in a new location and I'm going ultra light today, no bag, just my uh, Leica Q. I'm going to have a little wander up the path here, there's a, a bit of a tarn up in the woodland so I'm going to have a wander around there, see if uh, see if anything jumps out and uh, yeah, see if we can make an image to add to the collection. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. What time is it now? 10 past one, Monday afternoon. And it's like a 7 a.m. It's a wonderful misty woodland. Well, I say it's mist, it's low claggy cloud, isn't it? But it's the same thing. So it looks like as I'm making some elevation, I am going to be into the cloud. So yeah, quite excited to see what comes of it. See what the old uh, Leica can do handheld. <laughs> but yeah, all right, we'll make some progress and I look forward to seeing what lies up the path. That's wonderful. <laughs> I just made a little adjustment to my feet or foot position there just so I don't get these trees overlapping one another. Um, I've just got this set to F8, let um, the shutter speed do what it wants and the ISO as well, that was a ISO 1000 that shot, which is unheard of for me but I think with these, you know, if you want to go tripod less then you have to, uh, something's got to give hasn't it? But yeah. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to continue up the path there. I'm quite excited to see what lies at the top of there. I've never been here before. It's, uh, yeah, exciting. What a beautiful little scene that is. Got this uh, lovely little bridge going over the stream there and a little bench to the side. I just zoomed in with my feet there if you saw that. Um, this is the thing with mist, isn't it? It just brings another layer of um, atmosphere, another layer of uh, an element for us to deal with, I guess. It's absolutely glorious. We've got all these golden ferns everywhere and then the golden beach, the green and the yellow, there's quite a lot going on really, there's lots to see, lots to photograph, which is great isn't it, for a Monday afternoon. Good day in the office, so far eh? That wonderful uh, bright yellow tree there. I'm going to go and make an image of that or see if there's one to be taken.
Okay, so I've made it up to High Dam, and it's uh, it is a dam. It's not that high up though, but um, I'm here nonetheless. And as you can probably see from the background, it's a wonderfully misty, atmospheric location. I am literally the only person here, so it's quite uh, quite a treat, really. Um, not that you'd see anybody else if they was here anyway, but look at that. Let me see if I can move to this side, and you get to. Uh, see those silhouetted shapes in the distance so like I say I'm just with the fixed 28 millimeter lens today and we'll uh, yeah we'll see what we can pick out from these wonderful silhouettes in the mist Okay, so this scene here is um, really appealing. So I'm just on, I've just walked across the dam. When you're in the middle, it's just an abyss. <laughs> there's, not, there's not really much to see. It's just, obviously you've got the sides and then what's in the middle, there's not a lot going on. But just come to the edge and you've got all these wonderful branches leaning over. And it doesn't really matter that there's no leaves on them. I think it's just the form, the kind of skeletal forms of them what are really quite appealing. Very, um, fragile looking almost and uh, yeah yeah so contrasting lovely against the mist in the background that's my justification so I'm going to make an image now just looking over there we've got some drops coming in the water there so it looks like it's going to start to rain so that's going to spoil my wonderful reflection so I'll get on and make my image I don't know if you can see that in your frame, but this was mirror like a second ago and and now it's all very choppy looking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for a minute and see if I can see if I can smooth it off a bit. But yeah, it's a glorious scene. I'm uh, manually focusing all my shots because it's uh, the autofocus is struggling to get hold of anything. So but it's not a problem. The uh, the autofocus is a wonderful feature on this camera, but the manual focus is. Um, is really quite ple pleasing with the uh, the focus dial there. So yeah, I think these um, these edge scenes are quite nice. You know, when you've got the the branches coming over into the um, into the pond or the the <laughs> the tarn, it's really quite nice. You can just make out some faint silhouettes in the distance as well. So hopefully, if I just sit it out here for a second, I'll be able to make an image there. There is like a yellow tree in the background there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it on the video. Uh, I'm not sure how well it will come across in the photograph, but it is there, so it should appear. All right, well, I'll go for it again. Okay, so I'm not sure if you saw me take that just out of frame there, but I've uh, just knelt down a little bit into the portrait format just to try and get these uh, wonderful green ferns in the bottom of the frame to fill in this dark body of water. And I've also made sure I've composed it so that we've got these lovely trees what are leaning into the scene. So we've got them. So I'll run through the image now on the computer and I can explain my thinking a little bit better perhaps. Okay, so that's what I can see through the viewfinder where we've got these wonderful trees leading us into the scene and they're all going across the, um, the tarn there. And if we go into the portrait orientation, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see that, but we've got these ferns down at the bottom of the scene. So yeah, I think that works. That's something like that is, is where I felt I needed to be.
Okay, so you can probably see there, it's got this path meandering through the woodland here and I've just made a shot with a uh, similar composition to what you're looking at now where we've got these trees uh, at either side try and not have anything leaving the frame if you will or leaving the edge of the frame but yeah, I'll tell you something, it's uh, it's a very it's a treat to be able to see it like this just looking behind you now we can see the uh, reflections of these tall pine trees in the water that might be worth a shot as well I guess it's about how disciplined you can be to get somewhere and you know you would believe that most people only make one or two shots but I quite enjoy making as many shots as I feel inspired to make and uh, yeah we'll pick through the best and see where we go from there It's quite a nice little scene just through the uh, trees there as well. We've got these reeds coming out of the grass just to add a pop of colour. Yeah, things you would walk past on a normal day and with the addition of mist it's just making it a little bit more attractive, isn't it? See, that's a wonderful little scene just down there where we've got that golden fern just contrasting wonderfully against the still water behind it. Yeah, lovely. I'm just trying to position it in the centre of the frame there in a portrait orientation just to give it some order. And it's nice looking back to the dam as well. Okay, so just checking the map here and I'm actually not at the dam yet. This is a sub dam to the main dam. So high dam is the higher of the two dams. Um, I've just approached that bridge down there and you can see another wall. I'm thinking, what's that? So upon checking the map, you can see it must be another dam. So more goodness to follow. <laughs>
Okay, so listen to this. Absolute silence, just raindrops hitting the water. It's <laughs> unbelievable. And uh, even more unbelievable is my friend here, this lone tree on the uh, on the outcrop of rock. I don't know why I'm whispering, but <laughs> it doesn't feel uh, it's so quiet. Unbelievable, not a breath of wind. Um, okay, so what's attracted me to this scene, obviously, is we've got this wonderfully shaped tree in the mist there. But just to add some um, another dimension, we've got some wonderful rocks with all sorts of lines leading us into the scene there, uh, just visible under this water. So I've uh, composed a portrait image and uh, shot that off. What a beautiful place. You can use water running down the hillside and drops. I'm reluctant to talk in case there's anybody else in the trees enjoying it, but there we go. I'm really excited about this uh, composition here. What a beautiful tree. What a beautiful place. So what a beautiful scene that is. Another fantastically characterful tree, a Scots pine, just over there in the mist. And we've got this wonderful grass coming out of the uh, the water there, this yellow grass, green grass, it's uh, fantastic. What a treat it is to be here on a day like today. My first visit as well, I've got lucky today. You can just see the mist coming and going on the tree in the distance there, it's uh, revealing more of its wonderful shape now. Hello. Okay, so there's a wonderful scene behind me here. Again, this uh, island from a different angle, just coming out in the mist there. What a place, eh? Atmospheric, really beautiful. What I like about this scene, photographically, is we've got more of this wonderful rock with these big fissures through it, big lines, big cracks, what are gonna lead us into the scene, hopefully. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, take you off of the tripod, put you down somewhere, I'm going to fix the handheld camera to a tripod and I'm going to see if I can make a big depth of field shot here right the way up to uh, that wonderful silhouetted island in the background. Fantastic and look at all these raindrops on these trees here as well. It's like little jewels just hanging off the branches. It's so calm and peaceful. Wonderful.
Okay, so I've completed my circuit of High Dam now and uh, what a wonderful afternoon it's been. Um, unexpected in the cloud, head in the cloud James again. Um, wonderful little walk around here, still little pockets of colour, there's a nice bright green and bright, bright orange tree there. I've just shot this um, tree behind me, I don't know if it'll come across in the video, but there's like uh, three layers, the immediate foreground, the darker midground, and then a very faint silhouetted background there. So I've just made that, that'll be my last shot of the day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back now. So thanks again for coming with me. Thanks for supporting my photography here on YouTube. I appreciate your positive comments below. If you'd like to support me further, there's no better way to do that than with a purchase of one of my framed prints my archival quality prints or indeed my coffee table books which I've self-published and they ship out all across the world. So if you'd like to support me with the purchase there's a link below to my website and I'd be very grateful for that. Otherwise I wish you a good week with your own photography and I'll see you next time. Not sure where from yet but if it's as nice as this it'll be fantastic won't it? All the best for now. Bye bye.